I feel embarrassed that I don't know this. Probably should, but the I'm not a robot capture thing. Capture thing. Yeah. So that probably works in the same way. Yeah. Like how do you move your mouse, maybe, or how the dynamics of the clicking? Totally. But how does that even work that well then? And why can't it be faked? I need to look into this because it's it's such a trivial capture. It feels like it should be very crackable, and yet a lot of high security places use that. Yeah. It's really interesting. It's another cat and mouse game. So I think they've, yeah, but it's using a lot of similar signals like mouse movements, um, keystrokes, and then obviously all the stuff that comes over the the wire with your browser. So like what operating system, what fonts, you know, what headers are being sent over. And <laughs> yeah. um, there's actually, there's an old website. I can't remember what it's called. It was kind of like Panoptic Click or Panopticon or something, but it basically was like a proof of concept site that um, they would just show you all the data that was kind of getting sent over with your your request and like say that there's only one person in the world who has this exact set of data. It's you. And so it's almost like um, a workaround, a clever workaround to track somebody, um, make identify a unique person, even if like there wasn't a, a cookie involved or something. Yeah, this is a fascinating world where you can't see anybody. You're in the dark and yet you have a lot of signal and you have to figure out who's a real person, who's not, who's a robot, who's not. 